welcome to another French Fry Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building something a little different, and we're going to be building this old Erie Bucyrus steam-powered crane car here. And as usual, there actually is an interior on this, so let's get right into the build. So our first step here is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block behind that, we're gonna get polished blackstone stairs out, and we're gonna put five of them across the rails, facing backwards like this. Above that, we're gonna put a polished blackstone block on the center, and two upside down stairs on either side of it here. Then open a dark oak bench gate on either side of this coupler. Then in front of this, a two block tall T-shape of polished blackstone in the center and hang a lantern on either side of the bottom. Then on these outside edges here, we're gonna put two polished diorite slabs like this, two on this side, then in front of this, a 5x2 of polished black stone walls coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then come on top of this and we're going to take out polished black stone slabs. Then we're going to put five slabs on the top across the end. And then three in the middle here on this second black back. So it looks like this. Then behind this, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to skip one block back and get double dark oak slabs in the center and a single dark oak slab on either side. In this gap, three upside down dark oak stairs facing this way. Turn around and three stairs facing this way on this side of it. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels here. And then a fence gate in the center on the side. Next, we're going to run a line of polished black stone block on each of the top outside edges of this truck. Then, behind that, we're going to switch to a polished black stone slab. And we need to be on the upper hip box of the first block up. And we'll put two slabs here, two here. Then we'll do five polished black stone blocks on bottom of each side. Then two polished black stone slabs again on each side. Then come up here and bring the line of polished black stone block all the way down the second layer to this end. Then on the next block down, we're gonna get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, skip a block, and we need two slabs here and one slab on the bottom of each side of dark oak. Then three upside down dark oak stairs facing this way here, and three facing the opposite way here. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then put a hopper on the sides of all four wheels and a fence gate on the center of the truck on each side. Then bring polished black stone block up each side of the second layer to the end of this truck. In front of this, we'll do a 5x2 of polished black stone wall coming out to each side. Then a T-shape of polished black stone two blocks tall in the center here. And hang a lantern on either side of the bottom. Then two polished diorite slabs like this here, two here. In front of this, five polished black stone stairs across the bottom. Above it, a block in the center, two upside down stairs on either side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to here. Under it, we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. Then up here, take polished black stone slabs, five here and three here. Now take out a birch button, and we're gonna put one above each hopper here. 
Same thing above this truck. Then do the other side. And this corner. Then right here, we're gonna put two here, two here, and then three birch signs across here. Do the same pattern on the other side. So two buttons here, two here, and three signs right across here. Then take out polished black stone block, and we're gonna come in between here on bottom and make a five by three coming across right here. Just like that. Then take out polished black stone slabs. We're gonna come on top where these walls are and we'll put five slabs coming across here and then we'll go all the way up the side with them and then come across right here and all the way up this side with them. Then we're gonna come in this middle, take out polished deep slate blocks. And we're gonna put them in a pattern like this. And then raise that up another block. And actually, we're gonna raise that up one more block again here. Then in these corners, we'll put a column of three polished deep slate wall in each of these four corners here. Next, take out netherite, and we'll fill this in three wide with netherite down to the end of it so it's all covered. And we'll do the same thing on this side, fill this all in three wide with netherite. Then take out polished black stone slab again. We're gonna put three across this end, three across right here. Then we'll come right up this center, right up this center. Then two on the middle of each side, like that. And same thing over here. Next, come up on whichever side you want the crane pointing towards. Put three mango planks across right here. Then, on the next block, behind it and up, we're gonna go five wide with red concrete. And then we'll bring red concrete up each side here until it's one block behind this. Then we're gonna turn around, come under here, and put a mangrove stair upside down facing this way here and on this side. Then three mangrove stairs coming across here upside down to fill it in. Then we'll fill under here with mangrove planks to the front of it. And same thing on this side here, fill it with planks. Then we'll come behind this on the back of the stairs with red concrete. Come back to right here. Then come across and fill in this side. Then we're actually gonna come right here. We're gonna knock out these two and these two, and we're gonna put two oak doors on each side. Then behind this, we'll do another three red concrete on each side, and then another set of double oak doors on each side. Then come down and around the back with red concrete. Then we'll raise the red concrete up another level. Same thing here. And here, we're actually gonna take the middle out right here, so it's open. Down here, a red stained glass pane and a glass pane. Do the same thing on this corner. I screwed it up there. It needs to be a red stained glass pane and a glass pane. Then we'll come up here on this middle, put three red concrete on bottom, three polished black stone walls above it. Come inside here behind it, two rows of three polished black stone walls. Then behind that on bottom, we're gonna put back to back 
deep slate tile stairs coming across like this. Then take out a netherite. Go ahead and fill this hole up here with netherite. Come behind here and fill this whole floor in three wide with netherite till you get to the back here. In the back of this, one block from the end, make a pattern of polished deep slate blocks like this with a polished deep slate stair on each end like this. Then, two polished deep slate here, two deep slate brick walls here. On the top middle of this, we're gonna put two smokers facing each other, crouch, and another two on top of that facing each other. That's for the main exhaust. Then we'll come up here, and we're going to take out netherite. And we're going to make a pattern like this. And two deep slate brick walls here. Then we're going to come on the side of this. We're going to put two item frames on. With some recovery compasses. And we'll put some levers down here. Come over here and some levers up here. And one right there. Then up here, we need to grab chains and a grindstone. And also a torch. Then we're going to put a grindstone here and here, and a horizontal chain here and here. Take out a torch. We'll put a torch here. Back here, we're actually going to knock out this block and this block. Then we'll put a torch here and here. Come around here. And we need to get a glass pane out here. And we'll put a glass pane in each of these two gaps. Run a ladder up each side back here. Then we're going to take out item frames, put them in a pattern like this. And put frog lights on them. Then we're gonna come on the side for detailing. Up here, two birch signs, two birch buttons under it. Then in the middle of this, two birch buttons on bottom, two birch signs on top. Then up here, two birch buttons like that. Come over here, two birch buttons here. In the middle of this, two signs on top, two buttons on bottom, in the same pattern right here. Now come up here. Back here, we're going to put a grindstone on each side. Then we'll go to polished black stone walls. Three across this front here. Then come forward by three on each side and across the end. In this gap, two sideways dark oak vent skates. Then, on top of the front of this, we're going to put two polished black stone walls on each side and in the middle. So two rows of three right here. Then we're going to come forward by four on each side, across the end, and fill this with sideways dark oak vent skates. Then on top of the end of this, we'll put two rows of three across here. Then we're going to come forward on the side, another 12 blocks forward. Then 12 on this side, one across this end. Another one across this end back here. One across this end again. And one in this middle. Then we're going to fill all the rest of these middle gaps with sideways dark oak vent skates. Just like that. Then on the front of this, we're going to come another four blocks forward and make it three wide and then one on this front center here. Then up here, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs right here. Then behind it, we'll do a three by three, a polished black stone wall. Then behind that, three polished black stone slabs again. 
Next, put a grindstone here on the bottom of it. Same thing on this side. Then we're gonna do three sideways dark oak bend skates. Then three over here. Then we need to do some chains, so put on a temporary block, get a horizontal chain, connect it up to this fence gate, and start bringing it back along this level. Then right here where it steps down, we're gonna have to step our chains down by a block. So we'll need to put another temporary block on, get a horizontal chain, and start bringing it back along this level. Then it steps down again here. So we need another temporary block. And I was having some trouble here. My control started going crazy. Get a temporary block on here and get two chains right here. Now we gotta do all that on this side. So get some chains here. Then get a temporary block on the next level. Horizontal chain. Bring it forward to the front of this level. And I went too far forward by one here. Come up on the next level, temporary block, horizontal chain again. Then bring them all the way forward till they meet up with those fence gates we put up here. Then we have to do our top chains. So we're gonna come here and do a horizontal row here to these grindstones and the same thing on this side. Then it skips up one, so a full row up here and on the other side. Then come up here and a full row up here. And then of course to the other side here. Just like that. Those two aren't supposed to be there. Those were mistakes. Then we're gonna come up here on this very front. And we need to get a grindstone up here. But we need to make sure it's facing that way. Then a row of horizontal chains on the center right here. Now come up under the boom here. And we're actually gonna put three polished blackstone walls down here. still not looking quite right so I'm gonna come up under here I'm gonna add three more right here then we'll work on the hook so we're gonna come up under the very end of this in the center and we need to get two horizontal chains coming down from it so come up right here two chains then under that we need to get a grindstone but make sure it's facing this way here, like that. Then there's actually a second hook. So we're gonna come back where these other grindstones on the side are. And on each side, we're gonna put two chains coming down. So two here, two here. Then we need to come in and grab an iron trap door. And we'll crouch and get an iron trap door between there. Then under that, we need another grindstone. But same as before, make sure it's going this way. Then crouch, and we're gonna open a dark oak fence gate under this grindstone, and this one for the actual hooks here. Then we're gonna come back up inside this cab here. And right here where all these holes are, we're just going to fill this with some gray carpet right here. Now come on top of the back here, and on the top center, we'll do a 3x3 three three of mangrove planks. Then we'll come two up each side around this exhaust, three across here, and then another two rows of three. 
then we're simply going to come up each side till we get to these grindstones and we're going to fill this middle with deep slate tile slabs. Then on this outside edge, it kind of steps down a little bit and we're just going to fill this outside edge with mangrove trap doors. You could also just use red carpet, but I use the trap doors to get a little bit more three-dimensionality to it here. And this completes the build for the actual crane here, but these things do usually travel with a buffer car under the boom, so we're gonna build a little flat car next. So we're gonna come right here, put out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and a dark oak bed skate underneath it. Then we're going to skip one block back from it and we're going to get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Behind that we're going to go three wide of upside down dark oak stairs in a back to back T shaped pattern. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Put hoppers on the sides of the wheels and two mangrove fences on the sides of the stairs on each side here. Then you can make this flat car any color you want. I'm going to use mud bricks here just for an excuse to finally use them. But anything we have slabs and stairs for, you can make it that color. So we're going to fill all this five wide up here with the mud bricks. Then we're going to crouch on this bottom and do a row of mud brick slabs coming forward. And that's going to be 10 slabs long in total. And then we'll just bring it all the way across so it's five wide coming to each side of the tracks. We're just making a pretty simple flat car here. Then on top of that, we'll just fill this all in five wide with mud brick blocks. Then behind this, we'll do another truck. So another right wheel on each rail and rod axle. Then three wide of back-to-back -back upside down dark oak stairs. Then another set, another right wheels and an end rod axle. On the sides, hoppers on the sides of all four wheels. And then two fences on the sides of the stairs on each side. Then we'll fill in above this five wide with mud brick and we'll come one block past the wheels. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this top block, and under it we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're going to come up top with oak trap doors, and we're just going to cover the entire top of this with oak trap doors. Then on each of these four corners, open dark oak trap doors for a little step ladder on each corner. Then we're gonna take out polished blackstone button here. Right here, we put four, then here two. We'll do the same thing on this side. Right here, we'll put four buttons, right here two just for some little reporting marks there. And that completes our little flat car buffer car there. So this completes our tutorial for our old school Erie Busiris rail crane car here. Something a little bit unique and I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.